Excuse me. Yeah. What? What, what are you? those? It's my sunny. What? Is this you? No, that's not me. Hmm. Empty box of pop tarts. You're gonna come to the fat guy. <laughs> Talking about David's hair. It's fine. I mean, I think you look fun. No, but now you're saying that for the camera. Before it was on, you were like, you look like a mess. Let's they, shave it for the vlog. What did you think when David showed up at your wedding with a hat on? We actually for talked about it. The doors open, and, and David saw was standing in the back, and he was standing there, and you're like, David's wearing a hat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing up there, and like everyone I know is behind me, and like back far left corner, I just cut to it. It catches my eye, and there's David like this in the corner. <laughs> 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 I'm like, oh, there's David. <laughs> Did you see this this uh, Jason's emo moment mm -hmm. on his vlog, on his latest vlog at uh, VidCon? He's with this yeah. random security guard oh. at VidCon, just a nice young man minding his own business, <laughs> has to listen to psycho teens all day talking about friggin', you know, David Dobrik and Big Nick. Jason's out there and he's looking out at the, the crowd and he goes, man. My whole life, I just wanted to be a famous comedian. <laughs> He's like, but I couldn't do it. I just couldn't get there. <laughs> but that kid right there, it's so not how it happened. He Let it go. He came to see me at a stand-up comedy club. I was doing a five-minute set. I had nothing in my name. <laughs> no money. Vine was gone. And he said, come over to my house and shoot tomorrow. <laughs> said, I'm gonna light you on fire and then pepper spray you. Yeah. And I said, I'll be there. <laughs> and my life has never been the same. Now, I come here, I walk the halls, everyone knows my name. My life has changed. All because of that kid. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> and the security guard looks at him and goes, yeah, man, it's like you got famous for nothing. <laughs> you remember back when you were a kid on the internet and you didn't use your name as a username because your parents wouldn't want people to know who you were, like you had to hide it? What was your username? I was HB Surfer Kid 411 I was bested. Did you have the internet, Jason? No, we didn't have the internet. I think it's great how you adapt. Thank you, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to adapt. Technology is really scary for an older person. If you think about it, all these other 40 plus year olds are sitting their ass behind a desk, throwing out their backs. All these others are sitting at a desk using a computer and you're here at home using a computer. How did you learn how to do that? And you know what? You're ha hanging out with us. I know. I'm hanging out with the two best looking guys in Los Angeles. Every time I look one way, I see Todd. I look the other way, I see Scott. Jason, you know what I think when I'm hanging out with you and Todd? I think I'm the one hanging out with the two best looking dudes in Los Angeles. I second that. David, I'm leaving. I need to go to Boston to see my family. Family matters. Oh, hey, David. What's going on? I gotta go. Uh, I'm going to Boston. I gotta go. To, I gotta. Mm, I gotta go to Boston. Yeah, you can. You can go. No, David. I'm going. Go. I will. I will. Go have some fun. How about that? Go enjoy your time with your family. Oh, I see what you're doing. Reverse psychology. Well, it's not gonna work on me. The buck stops here. Cause seriously, can I borrow some money? Well, I don't know what that means. How much do you need? It's an old timey phrase. How much do you need? How much money would it cost to go to Boston? Like, like, like 20, 40 bucks for the week? Would that be I enough for me and two kids? I don't see no cash, but it'd probably be a little more. I have a bunch of ramen noodles in my suitcase. Jason, come on inside. Let's talk about it for a minute. I'll come inside for a little bit to look at the awesome place one more time. The lighting above the pool table. Yeah, the lighting is great, dude, but go be with your family. What's happening here? Oh, it's a new couch. Who's gonna be sitting in that seat? Because I usually sit here. Oh, there's a new, um, there's someone else I'm gonna put in the box now. When you get into Ubers, you always ask for the aux cord. Uh, I would feel strange asking for the aux cord. Why? I, I don't know. It's kind of like, it's not your car. A guy's giving you a ride. And yeah, it's not my you, car, but I'm paying for it. Paying for a service yeah, and part a, of the service You're paying for a ride. Because it's like a thing that's not included in the ride? Yeah, it's just kind of like an extra thing. Like, imagine if you're sitting in your house. Yeah. And you're watching TV. Okay. And someone comes in and they're like, I would like to watch NCIS right now. Okay, but if that guy was paying me to hang out with me, I'd be like, oh yeah, sure, you can totally watch <laughs> NCIS. If he was paying me to hang out with me for 10 minutes, $10, yeah. Yeah. then I would say, say like, oh yeah, you can do whatever the hell you want. You can have sex with my wife if you want to, I don't care. <laughs> because he's paying me for a service, and it's kind of an all-encompassing thing, an ox cord is Where part of the Where do you draw the line? Bar or shoe? 
Can you borrow a shirt? Career advice? Is it anything? I mean, I've done all of those things. And I've asked him career advice. I'd asked him like advice on girls. I actually talk to Ubers quite a lot. I like talking to Ubers more than like talking to like people that I know sometimes. Really? Because it's there's that um, barrier that's kind of like smashed because you guys know you're never gonna see each other again. So you can be candid and not have any like filter about what you say. I think I've lost this argument. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's I lost I, it. You didn't lose it. I just pummeled you into not wanting to continue it anymore. Okay, so you just asked Scott to go to Newport for when? Fourth of July. And you said, uh, I don't know. Todd's feelings were really hurt. He was definitely visibly hurt by me not being interested in the idea. He hurt his feelings. It was like, I don't know if Newport is really the best option for Fourth of July. We live up in LA. All of our friends are here. I got to see what everyone else is up to before I make a solid con commitment. I got other people to worry about than just me. I got to ask Jason, man. Maybe he wants me to come to Boston with him. Go ahead, ask me to come to Boston. We really don't have any room. Yeah, man, I'm gonna be there. Seems like you really hurt Todd's feelings. Well, yeah, his feelings are always hurt anytime he presents an idea that I'm not interested in. <laughs> I mean, I've never heard of Todd have a bad idea. If Scott hadn't listened to you about Coachella, he wouldn't have met Kristen. But what if you go to Newport this year and there's like a bag of money just there waiting for you? It says Scott. What if I go down to Newport and there's the new girlfriend? So then it would break break you and Kristen up. No, that's a good point. I sleep in at night and I wake up and fight with my mother. She says, son, go to school. I say, mom, that isn't cool. Why I don't go to father? I'm 25 years old. Scott and Todd found some magic mushrooms. Later I will say some say some. They are tripping balls. They're acting out an entire musical. Look at that squirrel over there. It looks like it's got rabies and wants to attack you. Run! We have my favorite person in the world. Is yeah. It yeah. It's so nice. I'm sorry. No one ever says that I'm their favorite. Uh, you're my favorite. Always have been. <laughs> since I met you. <laughs> Are you okay? This is why I love you. <laughs> We're going on a crazy ride. I don't know what's next with you. I'm a wild card. Ooh, is this spiked coffee? No. I mean, yeah. You want alcohol? Let's get some alcohol. Oh, you're already drunk. That's why you had your top off in Todd's room. Yeah, Todd. Why was he giving you a back rub? Because I was sore from meeting him. From Sore from meeting him? Did something else go on when the door was shut in there? No. You're saying no, you're nodding yes. Okay, let's just leave it at that, whatever happened with you and Todd. It's between us. But that's fine. It's nothing. Kind of like Todd, huh? No. All right, well, we're off to CVS. Why do you like CVS so much? <sighs> I don't know, it's close. Let me get some balloons. Oh, this one and that one and this one. You're not a grad though. You haven't graduated anything. Here, give me that balloon. You weren't a very good student, actually. That's what's gonna happen to you. Thanks. This is one of my favorite places. You know why? Because they have Did, sunscreen. Didn't you go to Bali? <laughs> 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 didn't you spend like a summer in Mykonos? I'm gonna need a lot of these. You should have done it with a Kleenex, not with toilet paper. Now people think you're gross. You meant for your nose, right? Yes. I you know. can use tissues for your butt. Watch this. It's good. Oh my god! Whoa! How'd you do that? Did you go to basketball camp? Well, it was the last time we had a manicure pedicure. Never ever had a manicure not in my once. life. Never. Not once. Not in my life. That's not true. No, I don't like You've people touching my feet. You've never had a manicure or pedicure in your entire life. My feet are ticklish. You are just a barrel of troubles. I know. That's really the cherry on top. I'm just sad your feet are ticklish. Like Josh, you he, he, he absolutely hates massages too. He would never get massages. I don't really like massages that much. Have you ever had a massage? Yeah. I don't know. Girls? It's or so real comfortable. Saying a girlfriend or like a, you went to a place. I've never gone to a place, but I could never do it. Wait, wait, so you got a massage from like a girlfriend? I don't like being touched. I just don't like it. He doesn't uh, enjoy anything, Josh. You know this. This is the man who flies to Miami, gets there at 5 a.m. on Saturday, and leaves on Sunday at 6 a.m. Yeah, no, Jason, the, the day before, Jason's like, Jack, I want to talk to you. He's like, he's like, so we're going to Miami for this AT&T event. I feel like if I went with you, we'd have like a nice thing, weenie, you know, yeah. dinner, like a nice like dinner, you know. Yeah. But David, I get there at 5 18 in the morning, and it's pitch black dark out. There's so many things in life that I would love to enjoy with you. You know what I would love to enjoy with you? Let's go get a coffee. I can't drink coffee, I'll crash right after. I'll have a cup of Literally water with like you. I'll have a cup of water with you. What are you, in prison? <laughs> what the? You know, Starbucks would fill up a cup of whipped cream for me. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, I'll drink the whipped cream. I'll, like, you know, I'll, like, get the sw I'll swirl out the sides <laughs> with my finger. You're joyless. Look at you rubbing your feet on my carpet. I'm not doing...
What do you want me to do? This carpet's very special. You is throw it? water right balloons here. in my house. Yeah, but do you have a nice carpet like this? I like my house just as much as you like this carpet. If you had a carpet, even just one carpet in your house, I wouldn't do that. You don't have carpet in I guess you win again, David. <laughs> I don't know why your generation doesn't have dating. I don't get it. Because I, it kind of makes sense no, to me. No, no, no. We were just raised with the internet and we were comfortable with being alone. And so everyone's uh, capable of just sitting in a room and going on a computer and like looking at pictures of girls and talking to those girls even, but then like never actually even seeing them. Even FaceTiming, sure, but you're not actually interacting with a person and, and getting a, any kind of experience. You're just in your room alone. You could talk to, you could spend the whole day not say a single word and have like, uh, like, 20 conversations. And so I think that translation uh, that translates into relationships. People just, they just are comfortable with being alone and so they just view people as nothing. They don't view people as people anymore. No one has consideration for anyone's feelings anymore. They don't. They don't. Come on, you know that. You can have a really good relationship with somebody and think some real for like a solid like three months and then in a text it's it's over. And it's like the reason why that is is because it's so much easier to send a text message than to talk to somebody and hash it out. Millennials are cowards. You're all cowards. Jesus Christ. Grow a pair of balls. Get out of your stupid room. I, I like my fans. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are doing great. God. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Keep watching those ads, guys. <laughs> Refresh if you don't get one. <laughs>